And another voice to the conversation. Joining us now, former U.S. Ambassador to South Africa, now President of the Open Society Foundation, Patrick Gaspard. The Open Society Foundation is George Soros's philanthropic organization. And yesterday, the ambassador published a response to Representative Matt Goetz's conspiracy theory that Soros is funding the migrant caravan heading for the U.S. Uh, Mr. God. Ambassador, it's good to have you with us this morning. Uh, this touches you in a lot of different ways. You, were, you work at George Soros's, you run George Soros's organization. You worked for President Obama. You were the Manhattan Borough President. Um, just your reaction, first of all, to the George Soros planting of an explosive device, an apparent explosive device, which was really the one that, that set all this off. And what was Mr. Soros' reaction? Well, uh, first, let me just thank you for inviting me on into this uh, rather sober conversation. And when I have a moment here, I'd like to just disagree with points that were made by uh, the two Johns. Um, well, uh, uh, you, uh, yes, this all did begin with a uh, pipe bomb that was sent uh, to George Soros, uh, a man who uh, himself is an immigrant, a refugee uh, from uh, a, a Nazi-occupied uh, Hungary, uh, and someone who came to the United States and became one of the most invest in, um, successful investors uh, in history. Uh, George Soros, regrettably, uh, is not surprised uh, today uh, by uh, these attacks. Uh, he has been saying for quite some time now that language can be weaponized uh, and that the chief executive of the United States uh, has been spreading a kind of shrapnel uh, with his words uh, and with his tone. Uh, I appreciate uh, seeing the remarks from uh, President Trump uh, yesterday uh, as he uh, said that we all have to come together uh, and unite uh, in this moment. But this is the same president who days before was applauding attacks on uh, the media and who I think it was maybe 48 hours beforehand blamed George Soros for uh, the uh, migrants who are making their way uh, th uh, through Honduras into Mexico towards the U.S. border, blaming George Soros and uh, Democrats, which is exactly what Congressman Getz uh, did as well. That's reprehensible uh, and uh, it's proving uh, to be quite dangerous. So as you know, Mr. Ambassador, the term uh, George Soros funded has become sort of a buzzword for, for conspiracy theorists and others who believe that he's pulling the strings on a lot of things happening around the world right yeah. now. Let's take the example you just raised, which is the caravan. He's been accused of somehow funding that caravan. What's his response to that? Well, uh, one, uh, two things. Uh, uh, George Soros and the Open Society Foundations have are playing absolutely no role in funding any caravan that's marching towards the United States. Uh, this is a foundation that uh, respects uh, and believes in uh, sovereign borders, but at the same time uh, honors the long-held tradition of Republicans and Democrats in the United States of uh, welcoming refugees from violence who have rightful claims to amnesty. We have procedures at our borders for that, uh, and uh, the president, who knows this and knows better, uh, should not just be casting blame without evidence on, uh, on Americans uh, like uh, George Soros. Uh, uh, John, as you mentioned, has a question for you, Mr. Ambassador. John yeah. Hellman. Hey, Patrick, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, John. Patrick, good, Patrick, good to hear you. Um, to I'm you. curious, I believe you, know, you pointed out that there were obviously <laughs> recent antecedents uh, where uh, your boss... Uh, has been invoked in a negative way by the president and others in the Republican Party. I believe it is the case, and I'd like you to clarify this, I, I believe it's the case the Republican Party ran an ad attacking George Soros just yesterday, even after this attack had taken place. Is that correct? There were, yes, there, there was an ad uh, run uh, in a uh, congressional uh, district uh, against a former government employee who's running uh, for the House of Representatives who happened to work for a nonprofit organization that received two grants uh, in, over the course of their history from the Open Society Foundation. And that's been conflated into another grand right wing conspiracy theory. I'd also like to add, John, when you talk about ads, that one of the closing ads that Donald Trump had in his campaign was uh, against George Soros, Janet Yellen, and Lloyd Blankfein, who, near as I can no, uh, appreciate, share nothing other than their Jewish heritage. George Soros has long been a boogeyman of uh, the right wing. I understand uh, those who disagree with his political opinions, but I applaud Republican senators like Rand Paul, who immediately after this attack stepped forward and said, this is wrong, this is not who we are. I'd also like to add, John, that George Soros is also the American who, right after support 
supporting uh, Barack Obama for the presidency in 2008 against John McCain, joined with John McCain in trying to open previously closed societies in Eastern Europe uh, who, who, who are still working to emerge from uh, communism. Same George Soros worked hand in hand with John McCain. So we just uh, need to pull back the lens, uh, appreciate what's being done here, the lies that are being spread by congressmen like uh, Getz, who hails from the same uh, district uh, that your Joe Scarborough used to represent. All right, Ambassador Patrick Gaspar, thank you very much. Um, and John Meacham, uh, before we go to break, um, g give us a sense historically of what a dictator, what a fascist, what uh, a leader with un-American intentions would do at a moment like this with a story like this in the run-up to an election. You would claim that your enemies had somehow set you up. Uh, you, you would play the what's called a false flag card, which you saw immediately happen in the, in the corners of the, of the uh, Make America Great Again movement yesterday. One of the things that one would have to say back to those who, and I, I, I pray it's a vanishingly small, but even if it's a small, we, we know that every person matters because any person can do something irrational uh, and violent, is if you think or if you pretend to think that this is somehow a conspiracy theory, that this is a false flag operation, ask yourself, why would someone think that such an operation would work? Mm -hmm. Why would someone think that this would be a reasonable uh, thing to launch? And that logic demands that you then realize that a rhetorical climate has been created and exacerbated and maintained that can lead to the worst kinds of, of events. And people who are complicit in this, not just those who talk, but those who listen and those who tend to believe or want to believe, have an extraordinary responsibility because we often say this isn't who we are, but often it is. But this really can't be who we are. It can't be. We won't survive it. John Pedoritz. So. I think it's important at this moment to point out that in the United States right now, we have solid economic growth, we have low unemployment, we have all kinds of social peace that we haven't had in this, we had, didn't have in this country in the post war era. Low crime, uh, you know, recovery in a lot of places. We have some terrible things, the opioid epidemic and everything else. This is an unusual set of circumstances, and that's one of the reasons that it is fair to blame, in some sense, the president's rhetoric. Not only the president's rhetoric, but the rhetoric, all sorts of irresponsible rhetoric, the sort of rhetoric that has led, that led, uh, that led Hokanson to shoot up the congressional softball game. Okay. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.